Six, about 1.3 million Americans live in nursing homes, and for years the federal government kept names of problem facilities under wrap. The names of almost 500 facilities with serious health, safety, or sanitation problems were not released to you, the public. But that all changed when the Senate released a new report. IT mate Stephanie Zeppelin looked at the report and found several of those problem homes are here in central Indiana. Senators released a list from the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services of nursing homes with documented problems. We'd never heard from the government that these homes, including 17 here in Indiana, had such issues. Putting a loved one in a nursing home means putting your trust in someone else. You expect your family member to be treated like family. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services publicly listed 80 nursing homes where that was not happening. But those were not the only nursing homes with serious problems. The names of other struggling homes were not being released, even though the government was aware there were problems. Finally, this summer, the Senate released a list of those other homes, almost 500 homes with serious health, safety, or sanitation concerns. You want to look for cleanliness. You want to make sure the staff are engaging with um, the other residents. Um, what are their safety procedures that they have in place? Mary Durrell is the interim president of Sokoa Aging and In-Home Solutions, a central Indiana nonprofit. Her organization helps connect older adults and their family members with the best options for in-home care or nursing homes. That transition um, from home to an assisted living, independent care living is also very difficult. The Senate's list had four nursing homes in central Indiana with issues. Two officially listed as having substandard quality of care. Essex Nursing and Rehab Center in Lebanon, Signature Healthcare of Lafayette, Rollins House Health and Living in Pendleton, and now closed Lawrence Manor Healthcare. Durrell's advice when looking for a nursing home is to check out the same things you would if you were moving into an apartment complex or rental home. Is it clean? Are people happy? And stop by unannounced to check it out. Ask them about their safety, security, and health care plans, along with activities for residents. It's sad to think that you're putting your loved one, I think, in the care of someone. I mean, this, this is what we're, ex the expectation you're going to take care of this. Um, but I think that's gotten better over the few years because of reports that have come out. We'll have more tips from Durrell in this story on our website. You can also call her team at Sokoa for unbiased advice about figuring out next steps. Stephanie Zeppelin, IT Mate.